What's up, YouTubers? Sorry, I've been off uh, making videos for a while, not recording anything. Uh, kind of was busy. <clears throat> not doing much over the road at this point in time. We're staying at home. Not staying at home, but working around the house. I got this white animal out. We need to pay registration on the next month because it's about expired. Anyways, I got a gig going. I'm hauling a uh, basically ethanol plant not too far from here and uh, the the corn they're using to make an ethanol it's a seed corn what happened is you can't feed the seed corn it's basically it comes out to be a ddg but they can't feed the ddg because it's made off of treated corn so they were piling for years and years on the field i mean it's a huge pile uh, you would have 10 trucks to hold that stuff out, it would probably take, uh, I don't know, a year or so to haul it out. Anyways, I don't know how many trucks we got going, but I got the job offer and I said, why not? Um, over the road sucks too, right now. It's no work and the rates are down too, uh, at least for me, but I wasn't chasing much. Then I see a bunch of guys doing the same thing. A lot of guys bought the side dumps and doing the same thing as I doing right now, hauling this stuff with a really nice equipment. Uh, should have recorded the video. Maybe I will do one tomorrow or day after. Um, not day. Whatever I get the parts for this thing, but I'll explain a little bit. Um, it's really, really, really rough place we're going. It's landfill, basically a junkyard. They're throwing in all the garbage. I mean, you, you, anything you think of, they're throwing away. It's landfill, and that's where we're hauling this stuff out. And uh, I mean, the road up to it. It's really rough. The place we're unloading. Uh, it's nightmare. You gotta watch where you're going. There's iron sticking out. I mean, glass bottles, concrete, trash, everything from underneath the ground. So you gotta watch where you're going because it's recipe to get a, a lot of flat tires. I've been doing it for two days and so far so good. But I'll show you what this stuff looks like. Um, I got a little bit on the trailer left. See that green stuff? And it's wet. I got the box up. It's wet and uh, it don't smell the best. It smells like puke. That's what this stuff is. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, the trucks start leaning to one side and it's a good old uh, leaf spring suspension. As you can see, uh, it's a rough riding truck. No airbags on it. Everything just bolted to the frame. There's only one thing is air as a seat. Uh, this truck actually used to be, just ask my dad, he said it used to be over the road and then they converted it into the dump truck. <sighs> so, um, this pin used to be a pin, it's wore out halfway. And that equalizer going up here goes inside and it equalizes it, uh, each axle. So I decided to put the bushing in I ordered the bushing, well, it's actually the wrong bushing, and uh, there's the equalizer. But I don't know if it cooled down or not. This pin is supposed to be round all the way around, and it wore out. And then there was a, this square in the end, and I broke the square off, and I broke the end off of it. So it's a Reiko suspension. Uh, it's very old suspension. I don't think they make it anymore. So I found it now since I broke the pin off. The pin goes way inside this side right here. And it's, I mean, it's welded itself with the rust. And it's been, the pin was wore out for quite a long because this is wore out too. So I gotta buy the whole entire uh, hanger. And I just called Fredliner and I found it. I found the hanger. It's actually not that expensive, 280 bucks. The pin is $30. Uh, the equalizer takes about 60 days to get it. They said from 40 to 60 days to get equalizer. I have no idea why. So tomorrow we're going to have to uh, call a couple other places and we're gonna try to get this guy or 
I got to get a right bushing for him and replace the, just the bushing because it's X shape wore out. Uh, the rubber dry rotted too. I just tried to heat it up a little bit. And the uh, shitty part about it, it's a Wednesday today. I was really planning to go working. So that's the shitty part about it on an older equipment uh, something that simple you can get it like next day or they don't have them in stock so uh, there's a suspension place uh, in the city maybe they will help maybe be able to help him i don't know they already got a bushing which is a wrong bushing <sighs> really disappointed because i thought i got a pretty good gig going and um, now i'm stuck and I can't even put it back together the way it was before just to run it till the actual original parts will come in. <sighs> Do you guys have this problem before with older equipment? And uh, I'm actually going to blame myself, dumb, dumb me. Uh, I don't use this truck this much. And uh, last year when I registered, for insurance on it fixed a couple things out i says well the suspension spiller wore out i probably should gather these parts and just to have them and then when i'm ready to replace them i should have did that and replace them when i didn't have to work so when it's somebody calls me and they need this kind of equipment i'm ready to go to work but i was slacking off and doing a bunch of other stuff so uh tomorrow maybe i will finish the excavator uh or i'm gonna call the people on the drain hopper and might gonna go uh, pull some corn or something just continue going i'm kind of hesitated and uh, i'm trying to till it's warm out the roads are not shitty uh, weather's actually really nice i'm trying to work so i don't have to work as much in the winter time and same with this bullshit coronavirus it's actually things have been pretty pretty slow and all this riot stuff too it's kind of sketchy to go to different states especially in the big cities i try to stay away from them <sighs> Dang it, I'm really, really disappointed. Uh, well, I suppose I'm gonna call tomorrow. Hopefully, I can find parts, at least order them, and we'll get them either by Friday, or Monday, or Tuesday, and then we're gonna go work next week. So, I don't know. I always try to do them actually pretty good. Uh, somebody just new to the channel and never seen it that's the truck i actually rebuilt the motor in it <clears throat> didn't rebuild it quite um uh, the guy who used to drive it he uh basically over wrapped it and spun a bearing i don't remember which cylinder it was rolling the crank on it so i pulled the motor out flipped it over uh took the oil pan disassembled the front cover and everything pulled the crank out put a new crank in it rod and main bearings and never took the head off of it put it back in it runs good it's not the strongest motor it doesn't have as much power it's edac one which is it's actually 91 uh the truck is 1991 and uh it does the job it's rough i it, it makes a man off of you if you want to <laughs> leave spring suspension especially on the gravel road like hard pack rock and the place we're going man it's it bonds you all over the place but the truck stays together the hoist goes up and pulls the trailer uh, not very fast it goes 55 miles an hour or so and uh still makes money i suppose i ain't complaining about it it's paid for no never mind one more payment <laughs> will be paid for it no, it's paid for a long time ago, so it does the job. It's a cheap old truck, DOT approved, uh, has mismatched tires, but uh, I really, really need to fix this side. I'm gonna fix this side, and as soon as I get this thing going, I will order the other side and replace the, the, the hanger, the pin, the lower control arm, I'll probably even have one, and equalizer, so I have that done. Uh, like I said before, it's leaning to one side, so I actually got this um, fiberglass, not fiberglass, polyurethane. I don't see it broke off already. Polyurethane to so raise the suspension up because when the box is down, 
uh, got it jacked up. The box is down, the truck actually leaning to this side, but like really bad. And when you're going on the gravel road, uh, the, the gravel road has a curve. How you say that? Crown to it, and it feels like it's gonna, truck will roll over, especially when you load it fairly high. Because the stuff we're hauling, it's not very heavy, but they're trying to load much as they can. And I was a little nervous a few times, like you go on the crown and a truck coming the other way, you got to get it really close to the shoulder and it feels like it's leaning fairly hard. Uh, better be safe than sorry, I suppose. But thanks for watching. Hopefully I will fix this thing sometime next week and then we're, not, we're gonna go back to work. But I am done for today. I got up 6, uh, 5.40 this morning and uh, been at it. It's almost 8. So everybody stay safe and uh, um, drive safe and see you guys all later I suppose. Thanks for watching again.